Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do this extended mini V stitch. It's such a pretty stitch. Look at that, it's really quick. It's a slightly bigger stitch than a UK double crochet. It works up really quick. It's a one row repeat and there is no stitch count do an odd number of stitches. Now the yarn I've used for this is this Cozy Wool Marano. I didn't pay $9.99 for it, I got this half price. You can use any yarn you want. Now I've chosen this yarn because it shows you this stitch in lots of different colours. So I'm going to show you how to do this. It's crochet an odd number of stitches, as many as you like an odd number and it's only a one row repeat. So for my sample I'm going to use this. This is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful Karen Big Cake. Now you can get these in both the USA and in the UK. Just go online and just type in Karen Big Cakes. A lot of places sell these. I'm going to use this because it's a really pretty colour change as well. So I'm going to make a slip knot and I'm going to make an odd number in my chain. A odd number. Don't make your chain too tight. So I'm just going to do a small sample because this is a really quick tutorial. Now into the second stitch in your chain, one, two, you're going to do one UK double crochet and one into every stitch along. So pull your yarn through, yarn over and pull through two loops. One into the next stitch and you're going to do that all the way along for your foundation row. So I've done one into each stitch in my chain. Now that's my foundation row. So the next row I'm going to show you is the one you keep repeating. It's just a one repeat row. You're going to chain one and turn your work. Now you're going to skip that first space there. And into the second space we're going to do two extended UK double crochets. So put your hook through your stitch and pull your yarn through. Now yarn over and go through one loop, just one loop. And then yarn over and go through both. And that's your first extended stitch done. So go into there again, pull your yarn through, you've got two loops on your hook. Yarn over through one loop yarn over through two loops. Skip that stitch and do the same here. Two extended double crochets. So straight through, pull your yarn through, yarn over through one loop, yarn over through two and into the same stitch again. Yarn over through one loop, yarn over through two. Skip a stitch and do it again into this one all the way along. Skip a stitch and put your two extended stitches into the next one. So skip a stitch and do your two extended crochets. One and two into the same stitch. Skip a stitch all the way along. So you've got two stitches at the end, you're going to skip that stitch and put two extended crochet stitches into this last one. Two extended crochet stitches. One and two. And if you hear Mutley barking and growling in the background, it's because there's workmen outside. They're banging around a bit. So now you're going to chain one and turn. Skip that first stitch. You'll always chain one, turn and skip that first stitch. 
and do your two extended crochets into the next stitch so oops don't yarn over <laughs> it's very tempting to yarn over first but don't go in to the stitch and pull through yarn over through one loop yarn over through two and into that stitch again so always skip the first stitch when you're going along the row and when you're at the end remember and put two into that last stitch so I've got my one in there I need to put another one in skip a stitch and then do your two extended crochet stitches in that one skip that one and then put two into the next one and that is what you're going to repeat skip one and your two extended stitches so when you're at the end ignore that little chain one there this is your stitch here ignore that go skip a stitch and go in here chain one turn your work and just repeat that row repeat it as many times as you want so you'll skip that first space there and put your two extended stitches into this one so that's two UK extended double crochets so no yarn over pull your yarn through yarn over through one loop yarn over through two and another one into that same stitch skip a stitch and work along and that's all there is to this mini V stitch this mini little extended V stitch so at the, again, the end again ignore this stitch here so skip that stitch and then go into that space don't go into there that's on your bottom row so skip that one and into that one your chain one and turn and do the same again and that's what it looks like it's really pretty it's a nice little stitch for blankets once you've got it done you can just give it a little pull up and it'll pull all your stitches into place and you get this really pretty mini stitch I'll show you my larger one again and this is the other one that I've made a bit longer it's really pretty please subscribe to the channel it's completely free to subscribe to YouTube channels and if you click on the bell icon YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial so until the next time happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon bye